Hi, it's Therese and I'm here for Alter New and today I have a really easy technique. I've got the main squeeze stamp set and I'm going to be doing some watercolour embossed resist. So I've got my embossing ink. I'm working on some Bristol Smooth cardstock which is going to tolerate the watercolours and some water quite well and because it has such a uh, smooth finish I am able to stamp on it pretty easily. The embossing ink is very forgiving in the fact that um, compared to the coloured inks this is something that usually goes down very well it, it covers your stamp very well because it's a sticky ink. I have cut the panel of Bristol Smooth cardstock um, to larger than what I need and I'm stamping out my images um, it's hard to see <laughs> for you but now that I'm adding the well it's still hard to see but I'm adding the white embossing powder now so it is actually a bit easier to see that I've mixed up the larger and the smaller oranges so the layer that I chose because this is a stamp layering set is the third layer so it shows um, it has some open spaces in it and I thought that would be good because then it would have somewhere for the water to sit. Now it does take a while to heat emboss all of this because it is a large area. When you're heat embossing as soon as you see the powder start to melt that's when it's time to move your heat tool along to the next spot. And then don't forget to tilt your panel into the light to make sure that you've got all the areas. If it's not shiny it's not embossed, just have to hit it a little bit longer with your heat tool. So I'm using a couple of the watercolours from Alter New. This is the um, bamboo colour and what I decided to do was mix it up with the forest glades colour and even though the bamboo is a green colour, it's that gorgeous sort of almost like a chartreuse green the darker green just um, brings that home. I did add some water to the cardstock first and then just kind of dropping in and moving around the colour. There's, um, yeah, <laughs> it's not very technical. <laughs> you can actually remove some colour off the white heat embossed areas uh, with a paper towel as well. And it does take a little while to dry because I have added quite a bit of water to this panel. And it's hard not to overwork it. It's something that I'm trying to learn a bit with um, watercolour. Just to let it have its own space. <laughs> I've chosen a sentiment from the same set but I don't want to use the whole sentiment. I want to um, add a die cut word for half of the sentiment. So this says you are sublime so I've only stamped out the you are sub and uh, used a post-it note to mask off the section that I don't need and then I could just cut that down. I did use the same cardstock here that I've got for the base of the card the same white so that it's all matchy matchy. The sentiment, the rest of the sentiment, I have die cut and some jet black cardstock. Now this is the fine alphabet die set and it's awesome. It's a real kind of, um, it's a good size font. You can actually um, add quite a large, because the other two sets that, oh, the other two bigger sets that Alton you have released, um, they really are limited to what you can fit on the front of a card size project. They're perfect for scrapbooking and if you have, um, you want that real bold sentiment that I normally do, this one's a little bit more subtle. I've done my usual trick where I've popped it on, die cut it in some fun foam and adhered that down and I always use my scraps of fun foam as my, to pop up my panel. I, no one's going to look behind there, they're not going to see that it's full of holes. <laughs> <laughs> and that way I can take it that extra mile. So I'll just pop that up on the front of my top fold card using some score tape because I know that's going to hold it well and then I'll add some matte medium to my sentiment that I'm going to adhere to, directly to the front. I line this up first I usually find that it's easier for me 
to start in the middle and then work my way out when I'm adding um, adhering letters like this on the front of a card and I just eyeball it but you could use uh, a ruler a T ruler anything that you've got if you're worried about not getting it exactly straight no one's really going to notice the rest of the sentiment I decided to pop up with some foam squares now to work out where I want the foam squares I just hover it over top and flip it over I couldn't lie this one down normally I'd lie it down on top but because the matte medium was still wet I didn't want to take the risk of um, moving my letters underneath I did double the foam squares up as well and that's my finished card I'll link all the supplies at the blog and the link will be in the description below. Till next time, have a great day. Bye.